Alright people, welcome back to another episode of the Card Review. So before we begin, yes, I am returning tomorrow, being Friday. You're going to get your vitamin Y and your daily ghouls back. I'm sorry that I'm such a meanie that I took it away from you, but it will return. So you're going to be getting your Shadow Duel and your Super Vicey Bell back. And we will be moving on with the channel. So um, the break was fine. Um, you know, it's kind of fun to actually just step away from Yu-Gi-Oh! Even though it was sort of I didn't, because that was actually interesting. I see you... I uh, had a meeting with my counselor, and it was like an hour late, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll screw it. I'll just go to the B-Building, went to the B-Building, everybody was playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, played some Yu-Gi-Oh!, talked to some people, so really, my break away from Yu-Gi-Oh!, was not much of a break from Yu-Gi-Oh!, no, it wasn't, but still. Um, I really do appreciate you guys being so understanding, and uh, I'm totally ready to just get back into it, so I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. But for now, let's go ahead and do this episode of Card Review. So today, we are looking at a card called... Lose a turn. <laughs> when I thought of this card, I was like, lose a turn. How come that just reminds... It, it just gives me an image of time seal in my head. And before Slate runs up in here, it's like, free the seal. Or what was it? Was it what? Release the seal? I forgot. I forgot. What, what, what was the saying? Hashtag something. Hashtag something the seal. I don't know. He has this thing where he's running around preaching that time seal should be unbanned anyway. That has nothing to do with it. Anyway, this card called lose a turn. Straight up. You just lose a turn. Uh, from what it's called, but let's actually read the card and determine whether you actually lose a turn, alright? So, it is a continuous strap card. Alright, so, activate only if you control no special summon monsters. Okay. The effects of all special summon monsters are negated until the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, if an effect mo monsters, monster, monster, is special summon in attack position, it is changed to defense position. Okay. So... That's kind of... Yeah? Really? I mean, skill drain's better. I, I mean, there's no argument. Skill drain is straight up just better. You know, you can activate skill drain whenever you want. Whether you have special summon monsters where you don't... Got only you got that without my like, points to pay, bam, skill drain. All the monsters' effects are negated. This on the other hand, this only negates the effects of uh, special summon monsters. And only for that turn. So, please, because, you know, it's a deck that plays skill drain. I mean, and if... if you would say, hey, what's a deck that plays skill drain? You, uh, you know, some of you guys would probably say something different. <laughs> you know, like, well, Malefic skill drain. No, 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 no. Cleese. Let's look at it in Cleese hands. All right, activate if you control no special summon monsters. So, you've got to activate this early. You know, if, as soon as you pendulum something, unless you tribute that monster, you know, you can't activate this card. So, all right, let's take it. So, let's say we activate this early. Turn on special monsters. The effect of all special summon monsters are negated until the end of the turn. So, pretty much, the monsters that you pendulum summoned are, are gonna have their their effects on the game. Yes, that's right. But, if an effect monster, effect monster, monsters, especially summon in attack position, it's changed the defense position. So, even though you pendulum summon those monsters, they just go eh, in defense, and then they just kind of like, oh, alright, oh, now we're in defense mode, and, you know, there's not a lot of Cleaves that don't want to be in defense mode. They'd rather be in attack mode, you know? And there's no vice versa. It's not like you can summon them in defense mode and they go into attack mode. No. If you summon them in attack mode, they go to defense. If they summon them in defense, they're in defense. So, the deck that would usually utilize the skill, this skill, this card, I was thinking skill drain, <laughs> this card, really can't use it. You know, this card is really not there for me. I don't know. I mean, it definitely slows down the duel, definitely, you know. All those monsters that are special summoned have their effect negated until the end of the turn, so, you know, after that one turn, after the turn that they're summoned, they get their effect back, but, you know, depending on what the card is, that may be too late, you know. And, and of course, if it's an effect monster that's special summoned, the attack position changes the defense position, you know. So, depending on when this card is played, this could definitely be very, very uh, one-sided, very one-sided, you know. Depending on, you know, what your opponent has, you can easily just, you know, lock down the duel. As long as you don't control any special summon monsters. And I, I kind of get why well, you can only activate this card if you control no special summon monsters. Because it seems like you'd be able to just straight up wall your opponent. You know, if I had something like, you know, I don't know. I can't even think of an example. Let's go, let's go with Dark Arm. You know, BLS, BLS. I have a BLS special summon. I activate this card. You know, all of your special summon monsters, you know, are uh, have their effect and the turn that they're summoned and the change defense position. So, you know, you can sure you can summon that Castell, your effects negated, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, run you over. You know? So it's kinda interesting that you can't activate this unless you control no special monsters and then once you activate it, 
it applies for you and your opponent. So, you know, both of you guys are going to be like, oh, every time I spend some monster, it's like negated this turn. That sucks. You know, I can go, you know, tour guide, and tour guide can summon me uh, Burning Abyss. That's cool. And then as soon as I exceed into Dante, his effect's negated and he's in defense position. But you can still detach a mill for cost. You just won't get that attack gain. So that's not too terrible. That's not too terrible, you know. But, you know, Virgil, he'll just be, you know, in defense and have his effect negated, you know. It, it slows down this duel a lot. A lot, lot, lot. You know, it's like a weird vanity. It's where it slows down the duel but in a different way. Interesting, interesting. You know, and there's also another continuous trap. So, uh, yeah, this is Lose a Turn, so go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Lose a Turn in the comment section below. But like I said, I think Skill Drain is just a better card, you know, especially since Skill Drain is a 3, Skill Drain is a better card. But it, it does slow down the game like Vanities, it hurts both players like Vanities. It's just a really weird card. Alright guys, thanks for watching.